Hi, my name is Amy Gibson. These are the Jesus interviews. I'm sharing with you what I believe are Jesus Christ's responses to my prayers. As he speaks to me, I just write down his words. Then I share them with you for your own opinions and decisions, conversation, contemplation. This is not advice. I ask Jesus, how do we live a fulfilling life? And this is the wisdom of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Jesus said he's been watching over the planet Earth for many years and witnessed the intimate details of people's lives behind the scenes. There are consistent lessons of truth through the generations. And Jesus said he'd like to share these lessons with the world. First, to ask Almighty God's Jesus for wisdom and guidance. And God will be with you as you navigate life. And here is wisdom. The first lesson, which is the most important after receiving God into your life, of all religions, the first and most important lesson after this is that your time is far more valuable than your money. And what does this mean? The way you choose to spend your time has priceless value in comparison to the greatest wealth of money. You should do what you love, and that's it. And then Jesus said, if a person makes that one choice, this is the most significant life choice one can make. No one knows how long they're going to live. Every moment is priceless. Spend your time free from worry, free from fighting and complaining, free from jealousy, free from anxiety, free from hatred, free from sickness, free from sorrow, free from fear, free from temptation, free from danger, free from addiction, free from boredom, free from peer pressure, free from bullying, and free from debt. Jesus said, live simply, doing what you love, and you will find your life to be fulfilling. And then Jesus said the next lesson involves location. Every geographical city, town, village has its own culture. The beliefs, attitudes, and code of lifestyle have a dramatic influence on the freedom to live life as one chooses. And then Jesus said the next lesson is almost as significant as the first. And Jesus said he's speaking of the choice of mate and the two shall become one and influence everything about each other. One's ability to live life as one chooses according to the permission of the other. And this is the truth. And then Jesus said the next lesson is health and taking care of it. For truly the wealthiest person cannot enjoy it without health. And then Jesus said the next lesson is friendship. One does not need thousands of friends, but a few true ones. And Jesus said he's a friend to everyone who asks him into their lives. And Jesus said, the next lesson is generosity. Giving benefits the giver more than the recipient. And I mentioned that I remember Jesus' quote about that in the Bible, and he said yes, and it is true. And he smiled. And why, Jesus said. And the reason is because the world is spiritual. And Jesus paused and nodded and said, say it again. So I'm saying it again. The world is spiritual. And it is. When a person gives a spiritual creation of the Holy Spirit is brought into existence. When a person gives a spiritual creation of the Holy Spirit is brought into existence. The Holy Spirit has its own intelligence and power and life. This Holy Spirit, which is newly created, seeks to reward the giver. And this is the truth. And so the opportunity presents itself 
to share, share often, share generously, and gladly without the expectation of return. And that's the truth, and it is. And so generosity may come in the form of words, which are free. And what is the price of a compliment? And why so stingy? And Jesus said, let the words flow freely and bless your world and prepare to be blessed. And this is the truth. For truly the words you send will surely come back to you. And Jesus said the next lesson is to never speak harshly of other people. And Jesus said the next lesson is to seek God's guidance while actively solving challenges with your own mind. And why do I say this, said Jesus? To prevent cults, blind faith, and the dismissal of logic. Jesus said there are spiritual forces at play and one needs to use common sense. So help me God, the wisdom of Jesus Christ for you on how to live a fulfilling life. You can make your own decisions about this. But I hope you find this helpful to you. And I appreciate your time.